Hi everybody, it's me, Tahumuhu again. Thanks for turning in, tuning in, <laughs> tuning, in, turning, turn, tuning in to my channel. Um, today I want to give you some tips on using a bucket. Um, it's one of the first things that I usually make in Minecraft. I know uh, armor is important, but really a bucket's incredibly useful, and there's so many uses for it. There's so much to learn about water itself. I mean, there's just tons. Uh, I suggest that you look that up on. Um, the wiki because it, it there just really is so much to know about it and Minecraft physics is so crazy like here behind me you see a lot of water and it looks like there's a ton but you can't pick any of this up none of that's a source block you would have to go to the very top up there and pick that up for it to actually go in your bucket so yeah it's one of the things about Minecraft physics that is kind of crazy so you see I, I can't I can't do anything about it but I can go up here and take it. So all of this, see I'm, I'm clicking, I'm right clicking, nothing. But right here, right at the source, I can take that water source and it's gone. Oh no, I'm in creative, so of course. <laughs> I didn't, I don't, you don't receive the water in your bucket when you're in creative. I forgot about that. I don't use creative as much as most people do. But you'll see it makes this cool pattern. Um, the, the great thing about water is that you can move in it with direction much better than a mob can. M most mobs can't move in water very well at all. So let's put him in there. So he just, he just follows the water path where we can actually fight the water path by pressing the space bar and holding it down and climb it. This is very useful for a lot of different reasons. If you're running away from some kind of mob that's going to kill you, jump in the water. That'll save your life. Or if uh, you are um, about to be exploded by a creeper, that's another way that, that it can protect you. Also there is the fact that if you place a water source block down, you can create a stream on just about anything. So if you're on a cliff face and you're trying to get down, create a water source. You can just like fall down and anywhere you hit, you'll be safe. Let's pick that up. So a bucket with you, I prefer to take two buckets. I don't always do it. I, I definitely don't always carry two with me but two of them will ensure that you can make yourself an infinite water source at any point so if you have two buckets full of water and say like right here you just wanted to have some extra water you would put one wa water source block in that corner and one in that corner and now you have infinite water you can just keep getting forever It never runs out. Oh, well, I picked up the swords block somehow. But it, normally it doesn't run out. You can normally take from wherever. That time I didn't. <laughs> it's probably because I'm creative. I don't know. But it is really, really helpful. So, say you're looking for a ravine or something and you find this big ravine and you want to get down to the bottom because you see like some valuable resources down there you know there's oh man that was a bad placement I don't know how I got it up there but uh, I was trying to get it right there so you wanted to get down into this ravine so you don't want to fall because you're gonna take damage so you just put your water source down and you can pretty much dump, jump from this height and land here let's um let's put myself in and survival. You see, I don't die. Even though I landed right there. But the great thing about this too is once you're down here and you start like going for your resources and everything like that and you, you get what you want out of it, you got your gold, you got whatever, you can start going up and you can basically swim up the waterfall to get back up where to the top where you wanted to go. So this is, is it's a lifesaver really. 
the one thing that you have to do is kind of keep yourself steady. So if you don't have a mouse, it's going to be hard. You can work the water stream to where you're not drowning. Because, you know, you only have like about 15 seconds in water, I, I believe, to um, to breathe. But you see, if you aim your, your crosshairs outside of it, you can move up and down without drowning, like you would here. So you can pick up air, you can get yourself to the top, and you're good to go. So never forget your bucket. It should be the, I think, the first thing that you make. As soon as you get three pieces of iron, make yourself a bucket. See how I picked that up? Now I have two sources of water. And boom, I'm safe. So if you make yourself a really deep mine and you want to be able to get down fast, you can just jump into a water source or water block of some sort. Even the non-source will work, and it'll keep cushion your fall. It doesn't matter what height you fall from, either. Not only can you pick lava up and then use that lava for... Oh, no. I'm in creative again. <laughs> Another great use for your bucket is lava. Because not only can you pick it up and then use that lava for a fuel source or for making yourself a nether portal. But also, if you're traveling, say you're in a mine and you're stuck and there's a bunch of lava like in front of you, you can, you can just turn it all to obsidian. Just go ahead and turn it all to obsidian and there you go, you can walk across. And you can pick up your source and set it down again and then just keep going and going. And you're good to go. So, that's very important, so it's important to have your lava bucket while you're mining. And if you do fall in lava, then you can immediately jump into water and put yourself out. That's, that's always a helpful thing. So take your bucket mining with you. Another great use is when you're mining obsidian itself. Not only do you need it... Oh man, what happened there? I just used up my water source. <laughs> great. Oh, there's one right there. How convenient. Oh my goodness, how many derps am I going to make today? I am a spoon. Alright, so as you see, it looks like it's flowing, but if I take that, there goes the entire water from that area. So, if you're mining obsidian, generally, you don't know, because there, there could be lava anywhere. So if you put water down while you're mining, you can put it against a wall, you can put it wherever you want. And you go right here, you'll be safe even if you mine into lava because the water will turn the lava into obsidian before it touches you. So yeah, that takes a while, but see? There we go. So I could go down or up or anything, but I'm safe because I had my bucket with me and I'm protected from the lava by the water. So remember to take your bucket with you. Here, let's put that source block back. I like it better the way it was. There we go. So you can get water anywhere that's kind of flat. So like that you can't take anything from. But this you could. And you can just take as much as you want. So always remember your bucket. I guess that's the, the theme for today. <laughs> so I hope this helped you out. And I hope um, to see you in future videos and you watch more of them. Um, like and subscribe if you could. Thanks for coming to Humu out. Everybody